everybody, Zori Lita back again. Um, the Zori Lita Plays with Resin, part two. So today I went ahead and I did some more um, resin casting. I did something different this time because these are just mostly for experimenting. This one is one of the full heart size um, resin molds. And this time I actually added, I don't know if you can see it, sparkly uh, glitter, uh, edible glitter. And it came out with some very nice textures. It's kind of uh, like a grainy, a little bit of a graininess, but also still smooth. And I think it's kind of interesting. I'm still having the problem with air bubbles. I don't know if you can see that right at the very top. Uh, I think the, the mold is just too thin sometimes, and it's hard to get into those cracks. Um, this one, I think, came out the best. I used blue acrylic paint in the resin. And I mixed it with the glitter and the stars all together in one batch. So rather than having that white glowing at the top, the glitter kind of goes all the way through. Unfortunately at the top I had a little bit of an explosion of one of the molds so the red got in there. But otherwise I think, I think this is pretty good and it was one of my favorite out of the heart casting. And as the other one says, it says true besties. This one was the best of the edible glitter kind. It's thin, it's still glossy on the back, has lots of glitter and shine. Uh, I like the texture. It's very interesting. It reminds me kind of like of old candy, kind of like in the 80s. Not really sure if you remember those old kind of cheaper candies, but it's, it's very interesting as opposed to being super glossy. Uh, let's see. This is The Great Explosion. I'm not really sure what happened. I think I overfilled the mold and in the heat of the furnace to dry it, it, it just exploded and it's, it's just like a giant gooey mess. Um, I was trying to cut it off with an X-Acto blade, but it just wasn't really working. And you know, there's air bubbles here, but there is glitter. The glitter did come out nice, but like I said, these are all experiments. Same thing happened with this one. I'm, I don't even know, it, like it didn't seem like it was overfilled, but it kind of just burst open and I'm wondering if it was the sugar content of the sprinkles that I used. These were the, the clear sprinkles, not the cake ones you normally see, like the edible crystal ones. Same with this one. This one came out okay, but I'm gonna have to really find something to saw off this little flack here, because that's not supposed to be there. But you know, it's all experimental. Uh, this one I had, this is what happens when you have a little tiny bit of each color left. So I mixed a little bit of the blue with the red and it kind of made this, um, I don't know, maroon or a plum color. And it's got a lot of sparkles. I think it looks pretty nice. Again, it's got that problem with a little bit of air holes because I think the mold is just too thin with the letters on my true besties. But you know, it's a good first shot. Same with this one, has a little bit of flecking on the, on the edge, if you can see that. I'm going to have to really sand that down and clean that up. Then I'll have to dome these. But that moves us on to the gummy bears. Ooh, these ones actually demolded really fast. Uh, there's still very, very slight tackiness because supposedly it takes 24 hours to fully cure. But um, let's go ahead and pop them out so you just slide them out like this. This one... Um, get that in there. I used red paint, acrylic paint. I mix the glitter and the stars inside and it makes a nice, it's kind of a thicker color. It's not so translucent, but I like it. Uh, I think this works really well if you're going to do like a necklace or something. The back on this one came out really smooth. It doesn't even really need to be domed much at all. And of course I got this, the glitter. I'm going to have to cut these little stars kind of bled out of the mold a little bit. Let's see. And I also tried blue. It came out pretty good. I think this is the better of the two blue ones and the stars are mixed inside of it. See again the back is pretty flat. It's not too bad. Might need a little doming with extra resin. This was my only green one. It came out pretty dark but you know it's still pretty cool and it's got the gloss on the back. It's really shiny and glitter. The only place I really had any air bubbles was in the top, 
which is kind of annoying because I did blow on it and it should have been hot, but you know, these are all just test runs and I think they're pretty cool. Also, this one had a little bit of blue, if you can see that, that little line, because it wasn't totally full up. So I added blue on top of the green. Again, this one's a dual color. It's green on the back and blue on the front. See that? Pretty sparkly, pretty flat on the back, and I love the sheen on it. I think I like these uh, solid colors because it doesn't always have to be translucent. But speaking of which, this is my favorite of the translucent ones. You can see through it. Got way too many stars in his face. He's got stars in his eyes. Okay. And so, you know, on the back, it all kind of sank to the bottom. But it's still smooth. And it looks nicer than, say, the old one. So, you know. Ah, I'm dropping everything. Um, here we go. It's pretty cool. Again, I have the problem where I'm not mixing enough of a color, so I had a little leftover red, and then I mixed it in with the blue, so it kind of does this marbling thing, and it kind of reminds me of those old gummy fruit candies that used to get, like, in the 80s. It's interesting. It's not ugly. I like it. It's pretty cool. Let's see. One more blue one. Yeah, he's got a little bit of flecking with the glitter. See, I'm going to have to cut that with the razor. But he looks pretty solid. Not too many air bubbles. There's like one. Wait, no, that's glitter. But yeah, he's pretty good. And I think my favorite one is the red one that I mix glitter directly into. It's kind of hard to see it. But, you know, there's still a little tiny bit of tackiness. But these ones dried in about like uh, three hours. So that's pretty good considering how bad they were the first time. So here's what I was talking about with the heart. This is the first heart that I did. And then let's see. Here's the texture of the other one. See, one is smooth and one's a little more raggedy. But it's interesting. It was fun experimenting. Um, probably keep doing it. But I'm hoping it gets a lot warmer because, you know, it's getting hard to put these over the furnace to get them dry. Like, little dude here says, see you on the flip side. I'll be back for some more experiments. Later, guys.